Another extremely important mobilization technique for the glenohumeral joint and all joints of the upper extremity is traction. Traction can be added in a number of ways. I can grasp both sides of his arm with my hands and lean back with my body weight. I can have the client hold on as we see here to the other side of the table so there's a little less body motion. I need to make sure I get to the end of his body moving and then add a little more so we're getting traction at the actual glenohumeral joint. Another way is I can hook around his forearm and pull back. But really the most efficient way to perform traction for the glenohumeral joint is to do it standing. The most efficient way is to place his upper extremity between my thighs. I clasp in with my thighs and I can lean back with body weight. This performs traction very nicely and easily biomechanically. And traction is an excellent addition to any other mobilization that we're doing here. So for example, I could perform traction and then do a posterior glide. Or perform traction and do an anterior glide. Or perform traction and do a superior glide. Or perform traction and do an inferior glide.